Like and subscribe right now or this spider will crawl on your face while you're sleeping. Waves, serene, lovely, making that swish swish sound, beautifully lulling back and forth and even putting us to sleep at times. Aw, oh, that's just what we all need right now, right? Mm, we might even go surfing or have a swim perhaps? Well, no, not today we won't, because for today's video, we're looking at the greatest waves in the world, which means they're huge, humongous, epic, exhilarating, and yes, we're most definitely gonna stay safe and sound on the shore as we look at these ones. Although, I get the feeling that the team here at Mindread might have other ideas. Welcome everyone. We're totally going to begin our top 10 countdown, and we might even try and see how many of you can say where you're from in the comment section or where your favorite beach is. Let's get ready to get washed away by these 10 greatest waves in the world. Make sure to hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe with notifications so you never miss a video. If you do subscribe and you've left a like, leave a comment saying I subscribed and I'll reply to all of you saying thank you. Number 10. At the 10th spot now, we're looking at an Indian Ocean swell, which often hits Australia. This is a big one, and this footage shows us the remarkable marvelousness of the ocean in all of its wondrous glory. Cool wave facts. Waves are a mysterious phenomenon that surrounds us more than we imagine. Here are a few things you probably didn't know about waves. Waves appear in many forms and shapes, and they have unique properties and behave differently from each other. From a scientific point of view, waves can be categorized based on the direction of their movement. There are longitudinal waves, transverse waves, and surface waves, and they're based on the ability to transmit energy, known as electromagnetic waves and mechanical waves. We are totally blown away by this cool footage, and this Indian Ocean swell takes this spot in the countdown for 10 greatest waves in the world. Number 9. At spot number 9, we're totally riding this monumental wave. We're at Terhu Po'o, in fact, and this one's really super duper big. Well, actually, the rest of the team are here from Mindread, and I'm just relaxing and making sure I don't go out near the big water, because as you can see, it's a bit too huge. Our manager is already in a wetsuit, and the script writers want to go swimming so we can see. Well, obviously, they're being very silly. The video maker and video editors have gone to play volleyball, and our big boss, well, he's still searching for a car space. Anyway, enough about what we're doing. Let's take a look at this amazing wave as we talk more about waves. Cool wave facts. Waves are everywhere. Yes, they might even be a part of our daily lives, especially if we live near the ocean. Did you know that sound is a type of wave that travels through the air? Waves, or more precisely known as microwaves, can also help to cook your food. A microwave is a form of radiation with wavelengths ranging from one meter to a millimeter. Waves do not transport actual matter, but instead they transport energy. And that's how come surfers can ride those ocean ripples. Let's keep going. Are you still with us at the beach? This is getting a little turbulent to watch, so let's stay on the shoreline, okay? Well, great. Number 8. At the 8th spot, we're totally finding ourselves in gorgeous India. Wow, this one is absolutely giganormous, which is my new word for gigantic and enormous put together. Cool wave facts. The largest wave ever recorded was measured to be 1,720 feet. It was triggered by an earthquake that hit Alaska's Litia Bay on July 9th in the year of 1958. In fact, two people in a small fishing boat surfed that immense wave and survived to tell the story. Most waves we see coming in from the horizon line, well, they're the product of wind that blows over large areas of the ocean. Length, speed, height, period. These are the main characteristics of a typical sea wave. And this takes the number 8 spot in the countdown for 10 greatest waves in the world. Hold on and try not to get carried away as we move on to the next one. Number 7. Spot 7 goes to the tsunami wave which hit Japan in the year 2012. It totally devastated the community and was very impactful. Cool wave facts. The typical length of tsunami waves is about 100 or more times the depth. The travel speed of a wave in the ocean, with an average depth of approximately 13,200 feet, is around 440 miles per hour, which is similar to that of the speed of a jet plane. The idea of turning wave energy into electricity took place in the year of 1799, when Gerard and Son patented a mechanism to drive such wave power to accelerate pumps, mills, saws, and heavy machinery as well. We wish Japan a full recovery and send our thoughts to those affected by such a crisis. Number 6. Here we are at spot 6, and we're here looking at a North Sea storm. This footage is quite surreal. 
Are you amazed yet? And have you ever seen anything like it in real life? Tell us below in the comment section. We'd sure love to hear from you. Cool Wave Facts In deeper water, a floating object moves in an orbital path as a wave passes through, therefore ending up in more or less the same place. In more shallow waters, the same object will move slightly more forward in a motion called Stokes Drift. In the southern hemisphere, there's actually less difference in wave height between the warm and cold seasons, resulting in definitely more consistent surfing conditions throughout the year. And this North Sea Storm takes the number six spot in the countdown for the 10 greatest waves in the world. Number five. Our next and halfway spot goes to surfing. And we're somewhere in the world. We don't know the locality of this one, but as you can see, it's totally mind-blowingly epic. If you know where we are now, feel free to comment below and enlighten us. Our viewers know more than we do most times. You guys and gals are totally awesome. Cool wave facts. There are four main types of breaking waves. Spilling waves, plunging waves, collapsing waves, and surging waves. A wave breaks when it enters shallow waters, and the bottom of the wave makes it slow down. When the wave reaches a depth that's 1.3 times that of the wave height, the top part of the wave actually collapses. Additionally, wave heights in the Northern Hemisphere vary more throughout the year than they do in the Southern Hemisphere. Such is the case that surfers get smaller waves during the summer and exceptionally powerful ground swells in the winter time. Let's keep surfing. Or not. <laughs> Yikes. Number 4. Our next spot shows a typhoon. And oh my goodness, are you seeing this crazy footage now? We might not ever want to go out too far into the ocean when it's typhoon season. Um, this is really, truly unbelievable. Cool wave facts. The sea is never still. Whether or not you're observing it from a beach or a boat, we always expect to see waves on the horizon line. Waves are created by energy passing through the water, as we know, causing it to move in a circular type motion. However, the water doesn't actually travel in waves. Remember, waves transmit energy, not water, and this occurs right across the entire ocean. So, if they're not obstructed by anything, they have the truly amazing potential to travel across an entire ocean basin. Waves are most commonly caused by the push of the wind. As the air blows across the surface of an ocean or a lake, the continual disturbance creates what's called a wave crest. These types of waves are found globally across the openness of the ocean and along the coastline too. As a cool piece of extra info, the wave energy potential of the United States is estimated to be about 1.64 trillion kilowatt hours, which means around 65% of all electricity in the country in 2016. The world's first wave power farm was built and placed in Portugal. Are you still with me here at the beach? Great, let's keep going. You can read your book later, I promise. Number three. So we're at the third spot and this is a mega wave we're seeing right now. Apparently, it was a world record breaker. Whoa, I hope the team aren't trying to write this one. Jeez Louise, I hope no one's name is Louise. Comment below if it is though, that would be super lucky. Cool wave facts. Did you know that hazardous waves can be caused by severe weather like a hurricane? The strong winds and pressure cause a storm surge. These are a series of longer waves that are created far from shore in deeper water and get bigger as they move closer to land. Other dangerous waves can be caused by underwater disturbances that displace large amounts of water quickly. This might include volcanic eruptions, earthquakes, and landslides. These longer waves are called tsunamis. Storm surges and tsunamis are different in the way that they behave. Tsunami waves roll upon the shore like a massive sea level rise and can reach far distances that are inland. The gravitational pull of the sun and moon can make waves too. These waves are known as tides or tidal waves. It's common misinformation that a tidal wave is also a tsunami. The cause of tsunamis are not at all related to tide information and may occur in any tidal state. Wow, let's get ready to move on to the next one now. We're gonna be experts soon. Number two, we're here at the best pick and it's sent in by Justin Kingston from the UK. Thanks so much for sending it in, Justin. This is Nazaré in Portugal and we're simply stunned as we look at this phenomenal wave. Whoa, cool wave facts. Waves may show up in groups as the result of interference of wave trains, which have differing wavelengths. A wave group has a group speed that, in most instances, is less than the speed of propagation of the individual waves, and where the two different speeds are equal and only for groups composed of long waves. For deep waves, the group velocity is scientifically known as half the wave speed. Interestingly enough, the wave energy per unit area of the sea surface is proportional to the square of the wave height, except for the last stage of waves running into lesser or shallow water, and this occurs shortly before they become breakers. Wow. That was totally our best pick of the day. And 
and it's absolutely taking our number two spot in the countdown. I saved the best for last, but first, I have a quick challenge that takes only five seconds to complete. If you can leave a like and subscribe within the next five seconds, you'll get 10 years of amazing luck. Just try it, it really works. Number one. This is the number one biggest, fiercest, most whoppingly huge, outstanding wave of the countdown. So let's take you to it in three, two, one. Are you really ready? Let me just pack up the umbrella and then we can see. I'll just be a second. Thanks for waiting. Okay, here we go. This is the Marshall Islands bomb wave. So yes, it's not a pretty sight to see, but it did create one of the greatest sets of waves in the world, even though it was for an unfortunate reason concerning bomb testing. Let's watch as the bomb wave phenomenon causes the water to make waves. Unfortunately, the creatures of the ocean wouldn't have known what hit them in this instance, and it's not a great thing to do to our Earth. Tell us what you think below in our comment section. We'd love to hear your opinions on this. These nuclear tests occurred between 1946 and 1962 in the Pacific Probing Grounds and were carried out by the U.S. military. This footage is of Bikini Atoll, which was codenamed ABLE on June 30th, 1946. Cool wave facts. Three types of water waves may be distinguished, and these are wind waves and swell, wind surges, and sea waves of seismic proportion known as tsunamis. This bomb wave adds another unusual type to the equation. It's also true that standing waves are able to occur in water bodies with enclosed or nearly enclosed basins, and these internal waves have a rapidly changing density with an accumulating depth, and these take place away from the water's surface. And this terrifyingly real bomb wave takes the number one spot for the 10 greatest waves in the world. Wow, that was totally epic. We truly hope you loved it. The team here at MindRead is safe and sound, thankfully. It did get a bit choppy out there for a while, though. Thank you so much for joining us here today. Have you got any cool ideas for our fun and exciting channel? Add your amazingly wicked, wonderful, and perfectly unbelievable ideas below. And if you'd love to add your opinions and cool info, just get involved in our amazing community in the comments section. Remember, you're the reason we make these awesome videos, and we totally love each and every one of you way too much. We miss you already, and we'll see you very soon. Bye for now.